Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you an updated video on my tutorial on how to build text in creative mode. So as you guys can see, I have my, in my world, I have a big, big sign that says Brock plays Fortnite, uh, overlooking my entire uh, playground world, and a sign in the back that says use code Brock. So the reason I'm making this video is because my other one is a bit outdated now. It's uh, a lot has changed in creative mode, but the process to make them is still exactly the same. So first you're going to go over to this website called craftdesignonline.com. Then uh, you're going to go here. So basically you can just watch the other video if you want to know how this website works exactly. But the gist of it is it changes your text into a, like you type something and it puts it on a grid for you. So you know how to build it in creative mode. So we're going to spell out subscribe. First I'm just going to show you guys the simple stuff, the letter S so that you can see it and then I'll fast forward through subscribe so you can see how it turns out. You want to go here edit if your if your sign isn't fitting you want to go edit grid settings and you can change how wide and how uh, how tall it'll be because the default is 50 50 like that and uh, it might cut off what you want to type. All right so we're in creative mode now. All right first I'm gonna go into settings and uh, change the the hour of the day just because it bugs me when the sun is behind me like this I don't like when it's really bright if you're looking at it for a long time it starts to really hurt my eyes so I want it like 3 in the morning I think yeah so it's nighttime and then uh, we're gonna bring out these colored blocks you can use these big ones but you don't really have a lot of room with them so ever since I made my last video there's a lot more colors now let's uh Let's use this blue one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and build it right here. All right, so first thing first, you're gonna wanna put the grid snap on four. You might actually have to use it on eight because uh, creative mode has a lot of glitches right now where when you try to stack up blocks like this, it doesn't wanna place them in the right spot. Like you see, I don't know why it does this. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know why they haven't fixed it yet because that's been a problem for a while. But uh, if you're having that problem, just go on eight and just be extra careful when you're placing blocks next to each other. In my old video, I didn't really explain very well how to, how to follow the guide. In this one, I'm going to put an arrow on it so you guys can see exactly the blocks that I'm placing down. So first, you press triangle for drops on and off. You're going to want to place one block and then use that one as your base block. But don't try to put blocks next to it because they might end up uh, interlapping like that. And once you do that and screw up the whole thing, you have to start all over, so don't do that. All right, so I'm gonna start with the S. We're gonna start with the tip of the S. So you can see the S has one block right here that's uh, it's not actually there, so I'm gonna delete that in a second. And then we go four blocks uh, next to it, and then uh, three blocks up, and then three blocks to the left. Now, back when I made my original video, you couldn't do this, but now you can do, you can uh, hold right D-pad, right on the D-pad, and select these blocks and bring them straight up and this saves so much time because like uh in this is not that complicated but when you're doing something like that and you need a uh, like right here you would need all of these blocks exact same color all right next to each other you can just copy and paste them and it saves a lot of time all right now you need uh one block two blocks there copy paste one there now we need four so I have four down here, we're just going to copy, paste them, that's exactly where they go. But like I said, when you're doing things small like this, you don't really need a copy and paste because it's still easy without it. So there's a the letter S, you guys can see exactly uh, how I follow the picture. This time I posted a, a picture with the arrow following it, so you know exactly how to do it. Now I'm going to finish the rest of the word, and uh, I'll fast forward through this and show you in the replay what it looks like. But yeah, here it goes. All right, so I've got the subscribe down. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, ended off with the exclamation mark. So the exclamation mark is pretty much just the upside down eye right here. So you're gonna select this eye, come over here, there, and there. And then you just delete these two, come up here, select these two, copy and paste, and you're done. Now you've got the word subscribe written out. It looks dope and uh, so I'm just going to go back to the website real quick and show you guys exactly how it works. I've already done this before, but might as well add it to this video too. So it's really easy. I'm going to use the font Impact. That's the font I use on my island. And uh, 
Say you want to spell out hello, you can see how bad this looks, right? It looks really bad, you can't tell what this is. It's because uh, the font is way too, the font size is way too low. You need to bring this up to like 20 probably. The higher you go, the better it looks, but uh, you see that looks way cooler than that. But this is four by like 15. That would take you so much longer to do than this, but it would the, the end result would be way better. But say you don't want it to be that big, um, the way you fix it when you're on 12 font size, you just gotta bring this bar down right here. And now you get a, uh, it doesn't look as cool as this, but it's way more readable than this. You have no idea what this says. If you're going for something small, you're not gonna wanna use the impact font. That's only for really big stuff. Same thing with Arial. You're gonna wanna stick with uh, Sans Serif. And that's the one I use right now for a sub. But you see when you're on 12 font size and you have the bar down here, you, it's just random gibberish. You can't tell what this is. So you gotta bring this all the way up. I had it around uh, there probably. So that's how you use this website and uh, let me know what you guys think down below uh, if you need any help with it. You want me to make more creative mode tutorials? I'm actually really, uh, I haven't played around in creative mode in a while and playing with this uh, copy and paste feature has been so nice. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to start building stuff again like uh, more picture art because this art, like, like it used to be so tedious having to copy and paste all these pieces but now I can just do this just copy and paste it right over and it, it would be so nice. So um, I'm excited to see what I can do with that. I could probably do something crazy, like really, really big on another island, but I'll see if I get time to do it soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that sub button, use code Brock in the item shop. If you want to play in my world, uh, the, the code to use my world will be in the description down below. Same thing with that website I use to make these letters. And that's it. See you guys in the next one.